Daniel, you're in. Right on. <laughs> I didn't see anybody on there till now, so I was running a little behind. I was mixing my paint. Getting it all ready. Just for a landscape. I didn't know what I was going to do. I never, I really never know what I'm going to do. That's what I like about this. I don't have to stress about getting ready. Except for getting the paint on the palette. That's all I got to do. And I also, I, I went ahead and put some uh, gesso on here to tighten it up. not a drummer but it sounds like a drum <laughs> I'm a guitar player I think you were saying you play uh, music right Daniel I can't remember You play the soundboard. There you go. Yeah. Me and Lisa, we got a gig uh, Thursday in West Seattle at West Seattle Brewing Company. And they told us they have their own soundboard, so I don't have to bring all my gear. So that'll be cool. We play for two hours and we get 15% of the beer sales, is what they told us. Not, not for the two hours, for the whole night. From, I think they close at 2 in the morning. So we might, that'd be good. <coughs> 40 years of sound engineering. Wow. That's pretty amazing. I did a CD with uh, the Dell Vikings. Uh, I, you remember the Dell Vikings? They sang dum, 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 de be dum. Wow, 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 wow. Well, anyway, we did a... We did a Christmas CD in Las Vegas, and uh, at uh, what was the name of this studio in Vegas? I can't remember. But I did most of the music on the computer, and I played acoustic guitar on all these. I did the whole sound. I did all the music on every song on there. They're all just classic Christmas songs. <laughs> that was a fun project. All right, let's uh, let me get going here. Who's in the chat room? Daniel, right on. I kind of got an idea what I want to do today. I want to. I kind of want to put trees all around the top here. And then leave the middle section a little open for sky and some distant mountains back there. And then, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully it comes out good. I'm doing this on a, a 14 by 14 canvas, so it's kind of small. I... I uploaded a, uh, I did a, a live the other day, live stream, and it, only, it was like 18 minutes, and they uploaded it like a regular video for some reason. Um, I guess if it's under a certain amount of time, they don't have to check it for uh, like copyright 
the so I think I'm gonna have some trees coming all in here I better I'm gonna put a little bit of a yellow sky down here I think Maybe with yellow, yellow ochre. That way I don't get too much of a green sky up there. <laughs> yeah, just like that. There we go. So my trees, I don't know when I, when I was doing oil I was doing uh, videos in oil. I was doing most of the painting with uh, a chip brush. Have you ever heard of these? It's they. Some people call it just a bristle brush, but it's really called a chip brush because it's it's got some pretty cool bristles on it. And I'm going to. Uh, Show you. Oh, there goes my phone. Let me uh, get my phone real quick. Oh. I had the tape here. I knew I needed a new piece of tape up there. I don't know if that bristle brush is going to work with acrylic paint. It works it works great with oil paint. <clears throat> so, I don't think I'm going to use it. I don't think it's going to work. Let me cover that up. What I like about acrylic paint, it dries fast and you can just cover it up. What's going on with my tape today? Oh, this thing is down low, that's why. Oh, here's what I'll do. I'll put the tape up here. There we go. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Technical. <laughs> All right. I'm hoping this one goes pretty good. Like I was saying earlier, I kind of like just painting uh, like on the fly because I don't have to prepare. I don't have to prepare anything. I'm, I'm already prepared. Uh, as soon as I turn the, the live feed on, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I don't have to, I don't have to think about anything because... I just got to make sure I got paint ready. And that's it. This is Prussian blue tonight. It's a really, it's really like a dull looking blue. Looks like I'm going to have a little bit of a sunset there with the... Uh, yellow ochre that looks cool though yeah I'll probably brighten it up a little bit with some yellow <laughs> the red green show <laughs> yeah I have duct tape, but man, that stuff works too good. <laughs> I'll be like 
cleaning it off my iPhone for weeks. Yeah. I'm using, yeah, painter's tape. Because I know that stuff comes off pretty easy. I think I'm going to put a peek through... Through the yellow here. Yeah, just like that. That looks cool. You know what I haven't done in a while is a, a river. So I'm going to do a river today. A river coming from way back here. like that something easy today there we go that's about all I think I need for this one I mixed my own gray I mixed the uh, black and white and I put blue in it to get this nice looking bluish gray color for the mountains Put another peak here. Look at that. Look at that. I think I'm going to make it look like they're going off into the distance there. So I'll make these mountains here closer to us going off that way. Wow, look at those mountains already. I just kind of whipped those up there. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to put uh, some yellow ochre down there right now. I should lighten up the mountain a bit first. Let me lighten up the bottom of the mountains. Just to get some different colors going on in there. Lightly blend it. Sometimes when you throw color in your mountains and then lightly blend it, then you'll get some things going on in there that might give you an idea. All right, yellow ochre down here around the base of the mountain, mixing into that burnt umber that I used to uh, sketch it out. A little bit of yellow ochre. This is going to go quick. I almost, all I got to do is put water and some grass over here and I got my underpaint done. I'm going to do a gray river today. A gray. Uh, 
Because if I, I went out there to the Puget Sound the other day and looked at the water, it was gray. It's never blue. Have you any of you guys ever been to Seattle and seen the uh, Puget Sound? It's pretty cool. It it's kind of surrounds uh, Seattle. This, I'm going to put in a dark grayish blue color here for the river. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, you drove a semi, uh, Ruben? That's cool. Semi. I guess I'm going to put, I'm going to put some grass down here. I'm using, let me show you what I'm using again. Have you ever heard of Amsterdam acrylic? It's made in the Netherlands, actually. Uh, Royal Talons. Uh, made in the Netherlands. They must have like a king over there like uh, England does. Or royalty. But they're, this is sap green, and their sap green is, you can see it's a little different than uh, a lot of the other sap greens they use. So, But it's going to, I'm going to put a little of the sap green up here. I put white in this one. It's just, it looks like a different kind of green to me. It doesn't look like green you would see out in nature, you know. I'll just have to mix some uh, darker color in it. Then, then I mix some of it with yellow. This has got yellow and sap green. This was white and sap green. You know, when you mix your greens, you can mix any color in it. You can mix yellow ochre in it to get a cool green. You can mix white, which I did back there. This has yellow. Uh, black. When you put black, this has got black in it. You see how dark it looks? So you want to get... I like to get the landscape to get darker as it comes forward the colors get darker or brighter in reality there should be no color back here this should all be gray if you want it to be uh, you know look far away it should look like those mountains All right, there. There's the underpaint. It's all done. I think this 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 live is gonna go pretty quick. I think unless I do some amazing stuff here. Just trying to lighten it up. I'm going to put a little more gray on my water because it I think I had too much water on my brush because I can see it's really thin in some places. There we go. 
All right, let me step back and look at that. Oh, you guys are far away. I should have zoomed that in for you. There you go. That looks pretty good. Now, if you guys are learning how to paint, anybody out there, you see this mountain here? You can kind of see the, the edge kind of looks like it's coming down here. You see it? Right, right there. Maybe I'll, let me put a little color up there and I'll show you a good way to get your mountains going. We'll just put a little color on a knife. Just a little color and I'll show you the edge here of this mountain. I see it coming in right about there. I want this one to be up front and I want this one to... Uh, come in front of that one and push that one in the back what I'll do is bring this small one then in front of that one back there push that big peak way in the back there that's how I'm gonna do it that looks pretty cool <coughs> Sometimes I like, I, I th think maybe I shouldn't put anything up on the mountains, you know. Just leave them dark. But Let me do some clouds first. I thought I, thought I was going to run some, uh, some uh, trees around, but I'm not going to do it on this one. Because this is not the design for that. So. I'm just going to put some cool clouds up here. Uh, I'm going to run a cloud behind that big mountain there in the back. Have it look like it's behind it. The white, the white I'm using is uh, Artist Loft white. I'm using a whole different mixture of different companies tonight. That kind of came out kind of uh, straight so I'll, I'll probably have to fix that up I used to have a, a fear of the sky when uh, <clears throat> when I had to do the clouds <clears throat> it would kind of make me hesitate oh boy now I got to do the clouds but now I've uh, I'm real comfortable up in the sky area so so I imagine some of the new if you're a newer artist, you probably have that same feeling sometimes. Like you don't know what to do uh, when you get up to this point. The way I just did these clouds are pretty simple, okay? And 
the way it works is you just punch in, act like you're punching in the top part of the cloud, and then, then I just pull the bottom out like this. Okay, and it, it ends up looking cool, and you can still you can still put more stuff in here underneath on top. You can layer it. See? You can keep adding more stuff in there. See that? Now it looks like I got a couple things going on there. So you don't have to just stop at that one cloud. You can keep putting things on top. That looks pretty cool. It's a nice sky so far. It's looking good. I'm going to put a few streakers up in here. Just coming into that open area. Just some thin, thin clouds. Just like that. Wow. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm hoping uh, if, uh, if you're just learning, you know, how to do clouds, you got to get past that point <laughs> that I was at, yeah. Because my clouds would come out terrible when, uh, when I first started doing landscapes. They would, uh, I wouldn't like them. I wouldn't like the clouds. These look good. Oh, let's see who's in. Valerie's in. How was your birthday? Bee feathers in. Nice. I'm going to let these dry a second. I'm going to maybe put some shadows underneath here. I'll show you what I see when I do it. Uh, oh, you're all right, Valerie. I still got a lot to do. I still got the mountains. I put gray in the, the river today instead of blue because... I went out to the Puget Sound earlier, and the water wasn't blue, it was gray. <laughs> so I'm like thinking, man, maybe I should make the river gray. We'll see how it comes out. Because I'm going for a realistic, realistic uh, painting. And the next... This... This coming uh, next three, four months, I'm going to start doing more Impressionism. Hopefully you guys like that. It's where you just kind of slap the paint up there and... Impressionism. <laughs> it's going to be different. Now, if you want to, I kind of want these clouds to be, like, closer this way. But 
I should have layered, layered them uh, like this, maybe. Let me see if I can do it. <clears throat> that'll work I'll come back to the clouds I want to put some uh, shadows underneath so it looks like there's some gray I want to put a little gray underneath alright I'm going to do the mountains now I'm going to put the, I think I'm going to put the white on the right sides today. When you do your mountains, think of them like, uh, like one side's going to be shady and the other side's going to have light, like a pyramid. <clears throat> and then you'll get, once you put this light color up there, you kind of already get an idea what the mountain's going to look like. I'm trying to keep the snow small because I want those to look really far away. If you uh, if you put less snow up here on top, the uh, they'll appear farther back. I made this one in the two peaks there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm using the the small side of my uh, knife so I don't put too much white up there. I'm going to keep that mountain way in the back, though. That looks pretty good. All right, let me get some uh, shadow color. I couldn't wait to do a painting today. <laughs> I was doing a couple shorts uh, earlier. I don't know if you guys saw any of those uh, shorts I did. I came up with some cool thing where I... Uh, I took one of those abstract pictures I made... And I spun it in front of the camera in a circle on uh, the time-lapse video. And then I put it in the movie maker and slowed it down a little. Man, it came out pretty cool looking. I called it uh, Art in Motion or something like that. I don't think it's getting very many views, but... It's something cool. It's something uh, 
I've never seen before. I don't think the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm doesn't pick up on creative stuff, I don't think. They say it's all in the title. Do you guys watch shorts? It's how you, whatever you put in the title is what makes the people hit on it and watch it. It's got to be something uh, exciting, I guess. I don't know. Wow, look at those mountains already. <laughs> Clickbait, there you go, yeah. <laughs> clickbait, yeah, I don't like to use clickbait, so. Yeah, these when these knives, these palette knives are perfect for making mountains. If you guys ever decide to give it a try, you got to get used to this knife. It's not that hard. You just you put a little roll of, of paint on there. And you just work it. You have to. Uh, You'll get used to it really quick. Doesn't take that long to get used to it. But I guess that you see how I can hold my hand out here like this steady. And I can get up here and do this. A lot of people can't do that. They have to have a like a stick and they have to hold their hand so so it does take practice. You got to you got to get a steady hand. Cuz if you've never done it before, you're going to be shaking up here, you know. But it doesn't take long to get used to it. I think those things are called a mallet. But I don't need a mallet. I still got a steady hand, see? Pretty steady. Wow. Man. I'm telling you, every time I do mountains, they come out different. I mean, I put mountains in almost every painting I do, but they they never look the same. The rock and roll, yeah, the rock and roll videos. I'm going to try and brighten up this big one a little bit, a little more. All right. I kind of like these mountains. They look good. Wow. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm ready to run. I don't want to put any more down here. Let me uh, blend the bottom of uh, a little bit of this blue. Just blend it just a little to get rid of the uh, hard edge. Just a little. It softens up the bottom of the mountain. There we go. That looks better. There we go. All right, the mountains are done. Wow. <laughs> you want to eat the mountains? Yeah, they look so good. I want to keep everything small back there today, so I'm going to take my time and uh, I'm going to put some, maybe I'll use a smaller brush for back. This is a round brush. It's a number two round. And I think I'm just going to paint in. Some small trees back there. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. Something different. I'm trying to be careful back here because I want it to look far away back here. All right, now I can get a, start getting a little bigger here. Put some big trees right here. This is that Amsterdam sap green. It's 
got black in it. <clears throat> okay. Perfect. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put some bushes down here and then run, run a few trees here. I don't want to cover my mountain, but I got to get, I want to at least have one tree up in the sky there. Look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Man, <laughs> I think I like this sap green, this uh, Amsterdam sap green. I mean, you guys can't see it, but I can see uh, up close. It looks really good. It's, uh, it's really dark, but then I can still see green in it, too. So it, it just doesn't look black. It probably looks black to you guys, but up close here, it's got some green qualities to it. <clears throat> all right, that's about all I'm going to do here. So I kind of like this. Oh, I got to put a shadow in or a reflection down here. Uh, I might as well do it now while I got color on my brush. Uh, I just put what I see up here in the water and then I rinse my brush off. <clears throat> I'm going to clean the brush off pretty good and then wipe it with a, a rag. And then what I'm going to do is first I'm going to pull down on that color and then I'm going to lightly go across it now just like that and then you got to put a white a white uh, water line right underneath Right there. See that reflection now? Doesn't that look cool? Really easy. Oh yeah, don't forget to like. Uh, <laughs> you guys are liking it. There we go. Right on. So I'm going to just put a few small lines over the reflection itself.
make it look like uh, water down there now. Doesn't that look cool? I'm trying to keep the, I'm doing the water pretty careful today because usually I rush through it and I'm going to make sure this, the water lines look all level and straight today. Look at that. See how cool it looks when, when you keep your knife straight? <laughs> I've been kind of lazy on um, some of my videos. I was speeding through it too much. Get nice straight lines in there and then it looks like water. Man, that looks pretty wicked. It's like almost every painting I do, I get... I get excited. <laughs> so right here where I uh, I didn't really get enough paint here, I'm going to try some yellow here. And uh, just like a wash, it, it's barely got, it's almost like watercolor yellow. I'm just going to fix that sky up where I didn't put any color. Maybe it'll look like the sun's going down right, right in that area. There we go. That looks cool. <clears throat> I really like that now, yeah. Man, this is looking good. You know, if that's the sun going down there, I can leave these trees the way they are in the shadow. You don't have to put any highlights on them because they'd all be in the, the shade right now. Coming out pretty good. All I got to do is figure out what to do over here. And that's it. Still took, uh, it's still coming up on an hour though. That's all, it's a, uh, this is a, uh, I think it's a 14 by 14. Let me check. Yeah, 14 inches. 14 by 14. It's weird though, it, it still takes the same amount of time as a 16 by 20. Alright, so now I'm going to I get some more bushes down here. So if I got a big tree here, I could probably... Put a tree out here as well. couple trees right in here these are like uh, maple trees
Pretty good. Pretty good. Ba -da -ba, ba -da 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 -ba. I haven't done one of my uh, birch trees in a while. Have you guys, any of you guys seen my birch trees? I can't remember if you've seen them. I, I run like a a big tree from here all the way through the sky. Valerie's seen it, yeah. Because that way I can get, I could run a big tree through the, the picture so I get something up here in the sky here. But I think I got enough room here for an evergreen tree, just right. Maybe a couple evergreen trees here. Let me try that first. I'll just put a few bushes down here. And, uh... I'm going to just put a small one for now. That's going to have to do, because I don't want to mess the mountains up by, uh, I kind of like the mountains, but Valerie wanted to eat them. <laughs> What I like about this one, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to highlight anything. I can leave all these trees kind of dark. That looks all right. I, I kind of like it. I like I like the way the mountains are all exposed. I don't want to run anything over the mountains. It's definitely different. Wow. I 
can't wait to start selling these. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to sell them. I, uh, I got a member over there, Peggy. She said she didn't see why we can't sell our art on here. I don't know if we're allowed to do it through uh, YouTube. I don't know what the rules are. Ah, oh, that's a nice bird there. Look at that. Wow. That bird came out good. He's coming in here to catch some trout. Or salmon. <laughs> wow. As I got just the right amount of uh, paint on my brush when I did that bird. Kind of going, I'm going a little slower today because you see how the nice and straight my water lines are today. I usually kind of blow through those and Do, 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 do. I'm going to try and put a give one of these a tree trunk here. Do 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 do. All right. Are any of you guys uh, sports sports fans? You guys live in cities with uh, baseball or football. Yeah, I'll put a few more birds up there, <laughs> Valerie. I was just liking that one. It looks cool. So Seattle, I don't know if you guys are into hockey, but uh, a couple years ago we got that hockey team here in Seattle. Whoops. They're playing at the old stadium that the uh, Supersonics played in. But they, they redid it. They made it, uh, they modernized it. There we go. Man, it's in focus. There we go. I 
I think I need to put a little bit of highlight on these. Just a little bit. Uh, just enough to separate these trees. Let's see. I don't think I need it. <clears throat> I think that's enough. All right, guys. I think that's all I'm gonna do because it's a dark, it's a dark painting. I'm not. I was gonna put yellow down here, but that, that you wouldn't have any light going on down there. <laughs> I think it came out pretty good for a Saturday night. The Pope is in the house. Right on. Yeah, I like this one too. I was going to put a... I was thinking about putting like a tall birch tree, but... I think it looks good just like that. I could fix these uh, trees up back here a little better, but... I like the mountains for sure. And the water. I like I like that I took my time on the water and put the line straight and made that reflection right there. Yeah, overall I like I kind of like it. And I used the new uh I was using a new sap green today by Amsterdam. It's the first time I ever used it. All right. All right. I guess I'm going to be done, guys. Thanks for joining in tonight. There's the dance lights. Yeah, if you have time, go check out my shorts I made. Uh, I think I made three of them. Three shorts. They're kind of corny, but if you go in there and like them, maybe the algorithm will uh, shoot them out there a little more. Do you guys know how to go find the shorts that I do? You have to go to my channel and then just hit the... There should be a shorts button up there. And if anybody wants me to subscribe to them, just let me know. I'll do it. There's the birthday bubbles. 
Valerie. Happy birthday. <laughs> Alright, you guys have been great. I'm going to go have dinner and i got to go to work tomorrow, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, I usually don't do uh, sunsets. But I didn't have to highlight anything because the sun's down, so that's cool. Let's see if I missed anybody in here tonight. Naina, wow, you're a, you'd like to draw, huh? I used to be a good drawer when I was younger. I used to sketch a lot, but <clears throat> I used to. Uh, Create my own superheroes, <laughs> believe it or not. All right, guys, have a good night, and maybe we'll see you tomorrow. So, have a good one. Cheers. <laughs>